Yo, what is going on? What's up? We're here on my restaurant and today it's going to be something a tiny bit different to what I usually do, but I'm going to be showing you how to make billions in my restaurant. And this is all basically about timing, I suppose, and also just waiting for the updates to come out and then just sort of making tons of profit. And I'm going to show you how I usually do it. As you can see, I've got 11 billion at the moment and that's not really too much of AFKing recently because I don't really AFK as much as you know as I used to so usually the money that I make now is all money that is all just profit of me just selling to the auction house but yeah this way you can make billions uh, especially if you have the funds to actually buy the stuff okay so in case you didn't know there is a thing on my restaurant called an auction house and basically what this is is you can put any player can put any item on the auction house for any price they like and other players can buy it so obviously if you put an item Item that's like really expensive no one's gonna buy it but if you put an item that's like reasonable and it's like a decent rare rarity then somebody will probably end up buying it so that's the way an auction house works you can put anything on for whatever price and usually people will buy them and every weekend, usually it's every weekend, sometimes they skip weekends, they add these limited time items so that there is only a certain quantity of them. So, for example, with this soda machine, I believe there was only 20,000 sold. Arcade machine, there was only 10,000. And these honey hedge, this, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Money hedge, there's still 2,000 of these because um, that costs Robux. And also the salad bar, there was only a few of those. So, really... What you want to do is as soon as the update is about to come out, you want to get on the game and you want to get ready to just buy loads of the limited items because as soon as the limited items have been sold out, you will no longer be able to buy them at these prices. So as you can see, that was only 2 million each originally when they were first added to the game and in case you don't know when the limited items are about to drop make sure you're subscribed because i always make a video before updates come out telling everybody what time the updates are coming out so yeah make sure you subscribe with notifications on because i always let everybody know just before the update is out and also so you also show some like leaks and things so yeah that's always always good but basically what you want to do as soon as the update comes out you want to rush over to the shop and you want to buy as many as possible and what i recommend you do is as you can see so there's 750,000 of these so that's quite high so you don't really need to be worrying about buying those instantly because there's so many of them there's almost, almost a million with this there was 70,000 so that's quite a low amount but not you know not too low and then this is 20,000 so this is actually the lowest amount that was sold i mean i'm sure the money hedge is lower but that costs robux we're like ignoring the robux ones at the moment because usually these don't actually run out so you can buy these whenever but as soon as the update comes out you want to run over here you want to find the item that has the lowest amount and then usually you just want to spam by this because you because it's only twenty thousand. this means the price is going to like go a lot higher in the auction house so once you bought loads of those like for example when i first came on I was just spamming these and I think I bought like 50 or something 50 of these big paintball spin-off arcade machines and then once you've done that you then sort of want to hurry back once all of those have been sold and you want to run back to the auction house and then this is where you can make some serious money all right look someone's bought one for 90 million up there that, that literally just happened so you know how the arcade machine, the purple one, that, that actually cost 2 million originally. And now that guy just sold one for 90 million. And now this is probably going to blow your mind, but this is how much I made when the uh, when the arcade machine first dropped. All right, you ready? Boom. So I sold an arcade machine. Hold on, let me see if I'm going to zoom out. It's sort of weird like that. I sold an arcade machine for 160 million when it first came out. I also sold another one for 240 million and I also sold another one for 240 million. So I sold for two two of them for 240 million, one for 160 million, and then I sold a soda machine. Now this was actually more than one. I think I sold like 10 or something. Uh potentially. I think I sold 10 soda machines or like Maybe more than that. I don't know how many I was, but that's a lot of money. 720 million. Also, all of this together, this is going to be a billion. And these have actually expired, so let me claim those. But yeah, as you can see, I would have made more money, but I wanted to save this just because I wanted to make a video. I know, you know, I knew I wanted to make a video on this later. And just to show you that you can make billions. I mean, all of this together is way over a billion. 
So we're just going to claim these. So look at my money down here. So you know this isn't like fake. So as you can see, I've got 11.54 billion at the moment. And if I collect this, it's going to go up to 7. And then that's going to go. And then this should go, reach me to 12 billion. And then this, hopefully 13. Oh, we're so close to 13 billion. That's kind of annoying. How much How much do we need? How, I don't even know. How can you even check? So, right. So we're like 100 million off. It's probably even closer. Right. Okay, we're well, almost at 13 billion, but yeah, as you can see, I've just made like a billion. Like the amount of profit, I mean, I haven't gotten a calculator and tested it yet, but I must have made like a thousand times profit, right? Because I bought those for what, like 50 million or something, and then I'm like making like 1.5 billion from them, just from reselling them. Because the reason people are buying them for such high price is because they're no longer in the shop and they are like a lot rarer. And it was just because I bought them super early. So that way I could actually sell them. Um, but also what you can do, yeah, you pretty much all of the limited time stuff. But one thing you sort of want to be careful because when you first sell them, you want to make sure you're making profit, but also you want to make sure you're not going too crazy. Because if you go too high, no one will buy them. But if you go too low, you might regret it because the prices could then rise. So you want to set it at like a decent price. Maybe if the price you have isn't selling, then try lowering it a bit. Um, but yeah, what pretty much what I did where I found like the best price is I had one here. So obviously there's nothing there at the minute. I had one for 80 million or something and then 90 million and then like 100 million then 110 million. And I was just seeing which one would sell. And then obviously, you know, the 90 million, the lowest one sold first. But then I was just waiting to see which one would it would stop. So the 90 million, no, the 80 million one sold. Okay, so I knew 80 million, right, that sells. So I was waiting to see if the 90 million one would sell and that sold. And then they all sold. So it was just, it was kind of crazy. So hopefully that makes sense on how you can like determine what price you can sell them at. But yeah, this is how you make some serious money. And if you get good at that, you can probably even be better than me because I'm not like the best at it because I'm sort of still new. See, look, another arcade machine just sold for 100 million. Like, what are the... Like, so original price was 2 million and now people are selling them for 100 million. Yeah, so the key to making billions and a lot of money is to just wait for these updates, which you can see when the times are from my channel when I upload. Or you can check the Twitter for the big games, which sometimes they're bit delayed so that's probably not the, the best way but yeah the limited time stuff and if you are like really rich in robux you could spend robux all on this stuff and like buy you know i mean you could probably spend these because i bet the money hedge probably sells for about five billion each so if you want to buy like loads of these and then just sell them you can but that costs a lot of robux and i know not a lot of people have robux which is basically why i don't spend robux because it's kind of like a bit unfair how some people don't have it and then some of us do but uh i mean even if i did 600 robux that's kind of expensive but i honestly i'm probably going to make a video on buying one of these i don't know if i'm going to add robux to the game or if i'm going to buy it from the auction house but i definitely want to make something of me talking about that because i don't even fully know what it does yet but we'll probably be making a video on it uh, but yeah, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to show. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I need to show you, but I don't think so. So yeah, like I said, make sure that you log on early for the update. Beat everyone else, buy as many as the limited time items as possible, and then sell them on the auction house for tons of profit, and that should be a good way. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed and I will see you very soon.